And a very, very warm welcome along, everybody. Happy Saturday. It feels very weird to say that, doesn't it? I think this might be my first ever live stream on a Saturday afternoon. How is everyone doing today? We've got plenty of people to welcome in. Welcoming Mario to Tom, to Retro Nubs, to Paul Anthony, to the lovely Snowy, to A Gamer's Tale, to Chad Northern, to Deadpool, and to Shawnee. So many people. Gordon Hall as well. Welcome in. Apologies, apologies if I've missed your name. Hopefully I haven't. How's everybody doing here on this Saturday afternoon? It is dull, wet and cold where I am, so I'm a little bit grumpy, but I'm sure that the run will make up for that. We have the Paldean Whooper into Clodsire lines we're running today. I have never made this. I have not made this run. This is courtesy of the wonderful Sprouts. And I have never tested this. Some other lovely people have done it as well. So I don't know anything about this run. Welcome in Queen Tashi. I hope you're having a great, great morning. Even if you did just wake up a little bit, a little while ago. Yes, it is a typical English morning. You're not wrong there, Deadpool. We're going to get started. We're going to start the timer and see how we get on. Now, we don't have stabbing on water moves. And we have very low special attack. And our only attacking move is water gun. So I'm fairly certain that this is going to be quite a slow start. Yep, four hits there on the centret. We're going to run from this next centret. And we're going to go straight onto the Route 46 if we stop getting encounters all the time. Sprite work as well was courtesy of the lovely Sprouts. He's done a fantastic job on this one. Absolutely fantastic, like he does on all of them. Now here on Route 46, we can get Geodude. And this is going to be a really handy Pokemon to trade on. Because if we can use up all the rest of our water guns here on these Geodude, yeah, the base speed is not good, you see, is it? If we can use up all of our water guns on the Geodude, and maybe the occasional rat as well, then we're going to be in for a better time long term. So we're just going to settle down here until we've used 15 more water guns, and then we'll see how we get on. Now, I have no idea who the rival has at this point, I've got to be honest. I didn't make this, I just got given the ROM. And the sprite work is fantastic. I can I can compliment the sprite work on this one, I didn't make it. I'm getting used to this temporary monitor I've got. It's, uh, it's definitely different, I will say that much. So hopefully I'll be able to keep the same level of gameplay. For those of you who don't know, the reason I'm streaming today is because I had to botch together a very, very quick rush job to get myself a monitor to do these runs. Because my monitor, as ancient as it was, finally gave up the ghost. It had a very... well, actually, it didn't have that good an innings. It was only about five or six years old. But daily use, I suppose, will do that to a monitor. So I'm running a very temporary one. I'm hoping for the best. Probably you can very much tell this is an office monitor. It's not designed for video games. Whooper does not have hands. He's missing them. Monitor, I barely know her. We'll eventually get another Geodude. Welcome in, Peach. How are you? I hope you had a fantastic week. And thank you by proxy for the fruit in Animal Crossing. You gave some to Kim. Kim gave some to me. I think any time for a monitor to go kaput is an inopportune time. But just as I'm planning a stream is possibly one of the worst. Because if I had some uh, videos edited, I could have just voiced them over or released those instead. But as it stands at the moment, my edit pile is empty. I need to get back on that. There's a project I want to be working on, but it's kind of ground to a halt. So I'm just going to Fill the air with some more challenge runs in the meantime. Or should I say traditional challenge runs? Mm. 
just two more geodudes to go and then we'll make our way out of here. Yes, Paldean Wooper is just moveset changes and type changes as opposed to stat changes like you see with some of the regional forms. Talking of regional forms, we have a Lowland Executor coming up in the next week or so. We are going to be doing the Executor redo next week. That is the one on our schedule. So we'll be having a Lowland Executor as well as a regular Executor being featured in the same week. I'm not sure who else we're going to do next week yet. Got a few ideas, but none of them is really sticking at the moment. And after four minutes, we can finally make our way towards Cherry Grove. Goodness me, the number of encounters today. It's one of our highest number of encounters between Newbark and Cherry Grove. And it continues here as well. We don't need the antidote, but we can sell it for a teeny tiny bit of money. Hello, Weedle. Goodbye, Weedle. What is with this number of encounters? Have we ever seen encounters like this in a run before? Again, we'll sell the PlayStation Network Kyoberry. It's just muscle memory there. I reckon level 8 should be more than cromulent enough to see us through the rival battle. We might do one more Pokemon to get us up, get us up to level 9. Everyone does want to jump out of the grass today. It's one of those days, level 9. Now, if we can just get no more encounters, we'll be absolutely fine. And let's see who the rival has. It's a mystery to me. He's got Totodile, which makes absolute perfect sense. We're going to mud slap away this Totodile. I think that's going to be our best option. Happy weekend, Evil Oddish. How are you today? I hope the weather's much better for you than it is for me. It's grim up here today. It's sunny. I'm jealous. And I suppose with all the flood warnings you had a couple of weeks ago, you're you're well overdue the sun there. Alright, so let's make our way, slowly but surely, towards Violet City. Let's start off with uh, Youngster Joey. You're basking like a reptile. Sounds like a good afternoon to me. It is nice to finally be in everybody's definition of spring here in the Northern Hemisphere. And this week for us in the Northern Hemisphere is the week where we gain the most amount of daylight across the entire year. This week is the one where our daylight hours extend the most. Unfortunately for anyone in the Southern Hemisphere, that means the absolute opposite. You lose more daylight this week than any other week. One of my very, very dear friends lives in Canada, and they were telling me this morning it's been snowing an awful lot still. It's a sorry state of affairs when you can't one-shot a Caterpie that's eight levels lower than you. Fortunately, we only have to get to level 20 to evolve. And we, of course, cannot get poisoned because we're poison type ourselves. Did I put on the poison cure berry instead of the regular berry? I've just noticed the held item there. Yes, I did. 
We want a regular berry there, for goodness sake. And we're going to toss that so we don't make the same mistake. Toss that as well. Our bag's looking very sorry for itself, isn't it? Let's see how much we can do in Sprout Tower. I doubt not much. Yeah. I reckon we're better off using our 25 water guns again on some more Geo Fellas. So we'll swap water gun up to tip top spot. We'll do a little bit of dark cage. Dark cage? Dark cave grindage is what I was trying to spit out there. Because so I don't think we have a cat in hell's chance of defeating Falker at the moment. Looking at our stats, even though we have relatively good defense, nothing else will be good. And Kimura is the person who this Pokemon is named after. He absolutely adores Claude Sire. I believe it's his favorite Pokemon. So we're naming it in honor of the lovely Kimura. You can catch him at twitch.tv slash Kimura. Spelt exactly the same as the nickname. I'm sure he'd appreciate some Claude Sire love next time he's live. Welcome in, Anderson. I'm glad you're fine. I'm doing very well, thank you. Macargo run was okay. It was more than okay, Mario, I would say. The fact that we shaved over an hour and 20 off our original time and managed to get it under two and a half hours is fantastic for Macargo. I think you're selling it short there, really. No, but that would have been a great reference for Horlucha that we did the other day. I needed a very long lie down after that Macargo run. Goodness, that was a run and a half, wasn't it? Are there any other wrestling style Pokemon? I suppose Hairy Mama's a little bit of a sumo wrestler type Pokemon, isn't it? Oh yeah, there is Incineroar. I forgot about Incineroar. We're definitely looking at sub one hour for the Wooper to get through the first gym anyway. This Pokemon lives in the swamps, I believe. I completely forgot that Graplox was a Pokemon then. Oh, what does it evolve from? Clobopus, isn't it? I think everyone at first saw, thought they were both water fighting, but aren't they just pure fighting? Yes, we are ground and weak to ground, much like the Nido line. We have the exact same type weaknesses as when we did the Nidos. Goodness, how long ago was that? Clobopus, yes. Five more Geofella to get knocked out. It's types, not water ground, because it's poison ground. They decided. We're going to have a change. We're going to remove the Nido line's unique type combination after 20 odd years and give it to Wooper of all things. Right, that's a fair amount of grinding done. We've got another Geodude. We might as well mud slap this one away.
Isn't one of the legendaries from maybe Gen 5 water fighting? Let's see how we get on in this gym. I'm not hopeful, I've got to be honest. Hell yo, that might be it. Actually, we should be fine. We're not dealing much damage. Yes, the teeny tiny one, Keldeo. I really hope we can hold on to this berry. No, we can't. Bum. It's easily done for getting Pokemon Exist. There's over a thousand at this point. We're going to try Faulkner now. We're going to be doing the accuracy shuffle the entire way through, I think. Right, let's try again. Welcome in SK, how are you? I'm going to try risking a water gun here, then doing a haze, but he does, of course, have to crit. Nah, that was not the strategy. Take another reset. We're going to go and have to grab another berry. I was hoping we wouldn't need these. We might have to knock out a few more pesky Pokemon en route as well. There are only very few Pokemon whose numbers I remember off the top of my head. Pikachu's 25, I believe, and Meowth therefore is 52. Because it's a whole cat and mouse thing. There's Scyther's 123, Jinx is 124, I know that much. And presumably Electabuzz is 125, Mamgar's 126. But other than that, not a bloody Scooby. Right, let's give this berry now and see if that helps. I really hope I've got it this time. Wrong move. Just about. Oh goodness, I've just realised that we have our uh, Macargo split still on screen. We're going to be comparing against Macargo here, apparently. Oh, for goodness sake, brain. I am not vibing with this Pokemon at all. Sometimes you just do not get the feel of a Pokemon and you start making the worst mistakes. Now we can go this way. I'm going to skip him this time. The good news is we do evolve in six levels time and that will be a huge, huge boon. For goodness sake, game, the amount of encounters we have had is absolutely ridiculous. Every few steps we're getting them. It's not a good time.
And Gordon, I hope your eyes are averted here. We are going to be doing Wooper against Pooper. And for some reason today, you just decided to tail with me. No idea why. Great ball acquired. Let's do a cheeky little heal. And let's go into the dark cave. Gonna put water gun up tip to top because of the four times weakness. We absolutely need to evolve quick, sharp, and in a hurry. I know that much. We have rustled his jimmies. Let's move on to... Oh, what's his name? Bill. Of course it's Bill. Third of three great balls that we need in the run. Only a couple more trainers left to go until we're in Azalea Town. Slam, you know what? Yeah. We're going to try Hiker Anthony. One shot on the cheer, dude. We're just going to spam Mud Slap against him a chop. Yeah, there we go. Need to buy some stuff now. Let's get eight repels, five super potions. Do a cheeky little heal. Chat with Kurt, and then we'll pause the timer to catch the HM friends. Timer paused at 21.12. We are looking, of course, for Cider and Paris here in the forest. It is a scam, 9800 for a piece of coal. You're not wrong there. Especially seeing as you can get one for free as well. Mario thinks Paris first today. So one in three chance for Paris to be first, or two in three chance for Psyduck to be first. We'll eventually find out. It's got to be one of them soon, surely. And you are absolutely correct. It is Paris first. A very reluctant Paris, but a Paris nonetheless. Get in the ball. There we go. And that just means we're now looking for the 10% side up. And there we have our side up. Psyduck being much more cooperative than Paris there, getting in first ball. And now we will unpause the timer and head into the Slowpoke Well. That's one grunt down. We are going to heal here. I think we're going to need to use a lot of heals early game. The only thing we can really do here is water gun. We'll mud slap the Ekans though as he wraps us. We get a nice critical hit though. Grab that extra super potion. We'll have a little chat with the third grunt. We are confused, which is very annoying. 
and Slam actually hit for once. Welcome in, Peter. How are you today? Slam doing the work. Hello, Zubat. Told you we're on a high encounter file today. Two crits in a row is very, very nice. We finish it off with a third mud slap. And this medium fast experience group really is screwing us over at the moment. One shot on the spinner rack. Slams hit twice in a row. That is a miracle in and of itself. Let's see how we get on. Against Bug Catcher Al. This is the accuracy I was expecting from Slam. Goodness me. You can harden all you like, Kakuna. Two crits in multiple five hits of the Fury attack. That's outrageous, you know. At least Sunspore missed. We do grow to level 19, and that is Josh defeated. Now, I am not feeling confident about this Scyther whatsoever. So I'm going to do a little bit more leveling up. Hopefully this will be the last leveling up session we need to do. I'm going to try and knock out some rats as well for the speed of stat experience. Reckon that's going to be our best play. May get lucky with the occasional critical hits while we're here. So many Zubat. Welcome in, Adrian. You're not late. The run is only just getting started, really. We're only one badge in. My monitor went blank then as well. I hope this one's not on the fritz. We did have a mirror match with Gordon's Whooper. I'd like to see some kind of uh, dragon type Ekans. I've got to be honest. I think a dragon type Arbuck would be really cool. And once we're at level 20, the main meat of the run will finally begin. So we'll get that delicious evolution. Nice to have your presence at long last, Mr. Geodude. We don't use those technicalities for Lance. He lies. His pants are in fact on fire because he is a big fat liar.
The learn set will drastically change, I believe, once we become a Clod Sire. So we will have Poison Stab earlier than... Uh, earlier than Sludge Bomb. And in fact, here is the evolution. Oh, look at how cute Clod Sire is. Oh, that's adorable. Amnesia, yes, please, in the face right now with all the extra help that gives us. That is so, so cute. You know what, let's have another quick look at the front sprite before we take on Bugsy. We're not going for record time here. That is the cutest sprite I have ever seen. Sludge Bomb at 24, Sludge Wave at 34. Yes, Wooper does learn Ice Punch even though it has no arms. Thank you so much, Sprouts, for that sprite. It is so, so, so adorable. Welcome in, Gemma. Never apologise for being late. We are just swooning over a very, very, very cute Claude Sire sprite that the lovely Sprouts has made. Oh, how can anyone dislike this Pokemon? Let's now take on the third rival battle, shall we? He's starting off with a Ghastly, which we can... Oh, he's moving! He's switching! Yawn, no thank you. We, of course, do fall asleep here. But we would have shot that away when we eventually wake up. I've seen him do it once before, and I can't remember who it was. Come on, Claude Sire. We just need time to hit, which has happened. Thank goodness for that. We are through. Rival 2. We're finally getting into the meat of this run now. Let's shove those repels up to Tiki Top Spot. And this is where the temporary monitor really will show. Because my movement here is feeling kind of clunky. Good morning, Animaster. How are you today? Let's get ourselves headbutt. It's going to be a very nice replacement for Slam, which, let's be honest, is terrible. It is weird that he learns Mega Horn. I'm not complaining, though, not by a long shot. Nice to be one-shotting things at long last. Our only issue is our absolutely abysmal base speed of 20. You've been watching your brother's dog? I hope it's been a lovely time watching the dog. And we shall pause the timer to get ourselves the Abra. It's not a versus against Quagsire, no. Trick Room? What about Trick Room? There is the Abra required, so we can unpause the timer. Get a little bit of concussion going all the way into uh, Golden Rod City there.
Trick Room isn't in Generation 2. You can't see it on the learn set. Torkoal's another one we're going to be running soon, actually. And Ferrothorn. We've got both of those backports ready and raring to go. Clodsire is telling McCargo to slow down. He can't keep up. And as I mentioned earlier, we do still have the McCargo splits on screen, but I cannot change them mid-run to get rid of them, I don't think, anyway. Or can I? I can. There we go. Now, it makes perfect sense to take on Mr. Raiju Man today. couple of water guns and then we'll mud slap the rest get ourselves dig we're not going to be teaching dig to clod side though really wish we had swift for this battle swap some Pokemon around in a very awkward way. Abrakenia side of Paris is what we want to begin with. And while we're here, we'll teach some stuff to Paris. So Paris will learn Dig. Also learn Sweet Scent. Then we'll teleport back. And now we have Sludge Bomb for all of 10 levels. Clod is still faster than Shuckle. There are some small mercies there. Gonna pick up the coin case. Just wanna get a teeny tiny bit more experience on our Clod Sire. We have to do these battles at some point anyway. It is flaming awful here in the Northwest. It's grim and cold. It's the sort of morning where you open the curtains and you're just like, do I stay in bed all day? We have defeated last carry. We might as well use one of our potions here. And see how we get on against Whitney. Well, one shot on the Clefairy. 
two shot on the mill tank. Perfect. Let's get the badge. That'll give us a teeny tiny boost to our speed. Every little helps and all that. Make our way out of there. God, it just shows how much you get used to your own equipment, doesn't it? Look at this movement today. Oh, that one's my error. For those of you who aren't aware, my monitor has decided to give up the ghost, which is why stream was postponed to today. I'm running a very temporary monitor, and it's not easy when you're used to the timings that you see from one monitor. And if there's even a slight delay, your movement goes all out of whack. For those of you wondering, I did try the good old Samsung smack on it. That didn't work this time. The panel is just flickering incessantly now. But hopefully, a proper replacement will be on its way by the end of next week. Touch wood. I can see PP being a bit of an issue on this run with Sludge Bomb anyway. We'll save the easiest to last in this instance. This is Jolteon. We're super effective. Well, we're not super effective, but we're immune, I should say, to Jolteon's best move. We get ourselves Surf. Now, even though we don't have Stab Water, Surf is still a very good move. So we'll keep it on at least until Blackthorn. We might chop and change it from Blackthorn City. I've not quite decided yet. Where are my repels? There they are. And we're going to take on Pokemaniac Miller, and of course he has the exact same type combination as us. So we'll put Surf in tippy top spot for a moment. Claude Sire is a Generation 9 Pokemon. It is a regional form of Quagsire. So it can be found in Scarlet and Violet. Magnitude did all, like, 2 HP worth of damage there. I do miss having Pokemon with Tri-Attack. Such a good move. Yes, it's an evolution of Paldea and Wooper, as Tom is mentioning in chat. Happy birthday, Phoenix Fire. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Yes, Claude Sire is a chocolate bar. Well, I could go for a bar of chocolate, you know. Really in the mood for something like a galaxy caramel. Clodsire is from Generation 9, so the most recent generation. We 
We're not going to be tinkering Hidden Power. We just wanted to get it, just in case, because we do have that weakness to Psychic. And if Mega Horn isn't great for us, we can pivot to Hidden Power. I'm trying everything I can to try and avoid using Sludge Bomb until some of the later battles in this. Speed drop means nothing when your speed's so low anyway. Grab the mint berry. Say hello to the mill tank. Grab the nugget. Oh, you sludge bomb against the slowpoke. Goodness, Pikachu's got paper thin defenses, eh? We will reunite the married couple today. We'll have a little word with Jamie, tell her to stop meddling in their affairs. It does look a little bit like an axolotl, doesn't it? I think that's why it's so goddamn cute. You can tell that this is a later gen Pokemon from the learn set. It actually has decent moves and some coverage. Welcome in Master K, how are you today? Gonna have to save state for this one because he does have the potential to go raw. But we should hopefully outspeed, which we do twice in a row. Perfect. Ether required, one more battle up to the tippy top of the lighthouse, then we'll have a little chat with Jazz the Liar. Yes, the stat spread definitely does prove that it's a later gen Pokemon. It's not very well rounded at all. We can TP back to Ecratique City now. And we can think about the third rival battle, if we can ever get in. Horse the Haunter swears with us, so we are on the clock. I've heard a couple of people say that, Alex, but I I don't know what to say about the shout outs there really, because I haven't seen the video myself.
What I will say is it can be quite distracting bringing up other people's content when I'm doing these live streams. So I always prefer to avoid that if possible. Ooh, a range there on the Haunter. Getting very lucky with the Paralysis. Welcome in, Luke. How are you today? No need to apologise. I hadn't told you beforehand. You know what it's like here. If I've not said something, then how the hell are you supposed to know? Sludge wave, yes, please, in the face right now. Very, very nice there. Instead of doing a uh, heal, I think what I'll do is I'll do that. And that. I'm not too bad, thank you. Kind of tired today, though, I've got to be honest. Hypnosis missed. Perfect. What is Mega Beedrill's stat spread, actually? I can't think of it off the top of my head. I know it's Gen 6, so it could be literally anything. But we have got through Morty in 49 minutes and 2 seconds. Mega Beedrill's fast, but 15 on special attack. Goodness. Hundred and forty five and hundred and fifty in attack and hundred and forty five speed. Yes, please, I need to get Mega Beedrill in right this second. And we got Swimmer Kaylee today. Fantastic. Goldine, 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 Goldine. Goldine, 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 Goldine. I reckon Megas could be doable. In Generation 2. I just need to figure out how to make some bits and bobs appear on screen. You know what? I'm going to reorganise these moves to something a little bit more sensible. There we go. To be fair, unless there was a specific battle where we needed a specific item, we absolutely would be taking full advantage of the Mega Evolving. Mega Horn, yes, in place of Head Butte. I'd do it as a whole held item, so I'd have a Mega Stone for Mega Evolution. Keep it as realistic as possible, as it were. There we go. Chuck all defeated. He has been chucked away. We'll get fly. We'll do a little bit of housekeeping now and then we're going to take our first break of the run before doing the rocket section. So we have a few bits and bobs to pick up. We'll start off here in Cherry Grove. We might as well get the Mystic Water. Mm. 
Now we absolutely need the PP ups quick, sharp, and in a hurry here. So we'll grab the PP up there. And while we're here, we'll do Sprout Tower. Scarlet and Violet are fun, but their performance is atrocious. That's ostensibly what I've done already, Oddish. But I've copied it to a new routine so that Transform still works. I think that's a very good way of putting it, Alex. They're a flawed mess of joy. Like, the games themselves are enjoyable. There's just a lot that can go wrong with them. You know where I am if you ever want... Me to give you a hand and show you some of the tips and tricks I've learned, Oddish. Roaring Moon, is that the Salamence one? Or am I completely wrong? It is the Salamence one. We do have, I believe it was Luke, actually, that made... Oh no, 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 no. I think it was Luke that actually made the Bagon ROM that we've got. So we could do a Salamence Flash Dig Cut Sweet Sense is what we want. We could do a uh, Roaring Moon one straight afterwards because I'm assuming that Paradox will be quite quick. We do have one Paradox Pokemon made up, that being Iron Bundle. So we can do that fairly soon as well. And once we've done this last bit of housekeeping, we're going to go to Goldenrod after this. I will do our first little break of the run. Have a little stretch. Wet my whistle. And we'll be all good to go until after the league then. Let's set our TP spot to Mahogany, shall we? We'll beat up the Gyarados. We'll have the chat with Lance. Then we'll go for our first little break. Nice quick claw proc there. Red scale acquired. Lance sufficiently annoyed. We'll use a PP up on Sludge Wave now so I don't forget. Teleport back to Mahogany. Reporting the timer at 55.58. We're about an hour into the stream. I need a good old stretch and I will be back in five or so minutes. There are going to be adverts for this break. So please do check your head for honies. Maybe turn them down a little bit in case that it is too loud. And we'll be back in a couple of moments.
And we are back. Thank you so much for your patience there. I was having a little chat with the mod team as well. I think we're going to try and get, uh, what's it called? The Wings one. The one we were just talking about, the Salamence thing. Roaring Moon. We're going to try and get that one all up and ready fairly soon. Welcome in, Seth. I am doing very well, thank you. A little bit of the old brain fog today, but working through it. How are you? That's a much, much more important question. The best advice that I can give anyone for starting a channel is just go for it. The worst that can happen is it doesn't work out this time. This is not my first time on the old YouTube rodeo. And the more you do it, the more you get comfortable with what you want to do on your own channel. You develop your own style and the audience will eventually come. It could take one month, it could take ten years. But as long as your content is something that people are looking for and something that's a bit more unique, then you definitely can carve a, carve a niche for yourself. I hope your doctor's appointment was relatively routine, shall we say. Nothing too serious. I hope if it is something that it clears very quickly for you, Seth. Exactly. Just have fun. Don't put any pressure on yourself. And as long as you're proud of the work you're putting out, that's all that ever matters. Right, let's see if the game gaslights us this time. We've got the Slowpoke password, and we do need, of course, the Raticate password as well. A physical special splits, we do have a base for that, actually. And we are considering doing physical special splits Sneasel. When we get around to the Sneasel redo. Because I reckon that one would be one of the most stark. Maybe Kingler as well, actually. And for that, I would give Waterfall its Gen 4 effect. In the physical special split, so it would be physical flinching move. Because in Generation 2, Waterfall is just bad surf. The game's gaslighting me. I swear I got the Rasticate password. I probably didn't. Probably too distractificated today. Oh, we could absolutely do it for Roaring Moon. It'd be a teeny tiny bit of extra work, but we've already got the base for it. That's one thing that everyone who's been doing ROM hacks around me has been doing is uh, ostensibly just collecting little bases to work from. So we've got a fairy base, we've got a physical special sp split base, we've got a time-based Evo's base. We've got loads of different bases to work from. And it really does help. I've got one now that's got bases for all the abilities. Galavoir would be fun. I'd want to do Rolts, uh, Rolts' two evolutions first. But we could definitely make kind of like a Rolts week. We're nearly through this slog. Gallade would be interesting. I also want to do the uh, snow run line and it's two evos. There we go, we are through this horrible rocket section. Yeah, until the next slog in 10 with the second rocket section. They really didn't... They weren't kind to us, were they? We'll take on Jazz before Price. Get her out of the way. No, we don't want to take on any bird keepers up here. Thank you very much. 
Secret potion given to Jazz. She's going to store it away in her handbag and blind us while she does it. So we'll have to give Chase to check her handbag. But first, a little bit of shopping, apparently. Can't see this one being too difficult. Because she can't Thunder Wave us. Healing loop, or are you just going to accept? You're accepting defeat. Perfect. Toxic, no thank you. I like Toxic, but not in Gen 2. Mineral badge acquired. We have, of course. Let's go now back to Mahogany. We'll do a heal for PP purposes. We'll take on Price to get the Glacier badge. Should be a one shot on the seal. Two shot maybe on the dugong. That's practically a healing loop. And then we'll sludge wave turn one on the pile of swine and finish it off with a surf. The two forms should be fine for lichen rock. I can't see too many issues. We just have it as two separate species. With the same external name. Three forms, of course. There's the... Uh, is it the Dusk form as well? Is that the third form? Very elusive form, that one, isn't it? HMO7 acquired. That is, of course, Waterfall. Oh, I forgot to stick a rappel on, didn't I? That's fine. Take on this extra gold bat. We'll use up our last regular rappel. What an oddly specific evolution requirement. Own tempo rock rough between 5, 8, 5 and 5.59. Even off the bike today, this movement is terrible. Toss that potion, we don't need it anymore. Do still need to get rid of that PlayStation Network Cureberry, actually. Welcome in, Dragon Princess. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Apologies for this awful movement. I am not used to this monitor. Let's, before I forget, get those max repels. We're going to need to sell some stuff first, are we? We can do that. What should we get rid of? Charcoal, that's just free money. Three nuggets is three money. Get rid of that. I'm doing very well, thank you. Bit of the old brain fogs working through. We'll get some of those, and we'll also get some hyper potions. Off to Goldenrod we go. It's the fifth floor we want. Get ourselves returned, that's going to be a handy move, potentially. And we've got two protein in the bag already, so we'll get two of those. Don't... I don't think red is going to be that good, that bad, to be honest. We can set up if we need to against the, uh, against the Pikachu. The only thing it can hit us with is Quick Attack. You know what, we'll get another Carbos. Every little helps with our speed, after all. So 
So I reckon the plan is to just swear at the Pikachu if all else fails. We'll have to see how that goes. Right, buckle up, it's time for slug number two. Hopefully this one will be relatively quick. Trying to use up as much Surf PP as possible, because that's going to be what we're getting rid of next. Yes, the very high special defense means that Snorlax really is the only one we've got to worry about. And he has approximately a 90% chance of using Amnesia on turn one. So as long as one of our stab moves is going to be 50% or more damage on turn one, Snorlax should be free. And Blastoise is most likely to rain dance turn one as well. So we can really exploit his AI. At least that's the plan. We'll have to see how it goes. So we've got to be very careful with our levels here. Because we don't want to get to level 48 by accident. Because once we're at 48, we're going to be learning Earthquake. And we want that to replace probably Sir. Very nice crit there on the coughing. Gonna use a couple of sludge waves. And another very nice crit there to begin to begin with to finish with. Let's now go into the underground, where we have our fourth of five arrival battles to do. Let's hope this is a very quick confusion, goodness me. Nice crit there on the sludge wave. And that's the rival done. In four more levels we're going to get ourselves Earthquake. And that will help quite drastically. We really are getting a lot of very lucky crates in this one. We are also getting the useless crates that we quite often get in these runs as well. But it's nice to have a mix of bugs for once, isn't it? The back sprite is adorable, isn't it? Not made by me so I can give it all the compliments I like.
Yes, having such great HP is really handy as well. It means that I don't need to worry too much about healing, although I will actually use up some of these super potions right here, right now. Wrong move. There we go. Something else I was going to do here. That was it. It was the PP up. Stick that in Sludge Wave as well. We'll use the other PP ups that we get on Earthquake when we are fortunate enough to have Earthquake. Max Ether acquired. I don't think we're going to need the Scamulet coin this time. So we shall risk it for a biscuit and skip it. Get the card key. Get TM35. Dig our way out of there. And we're actually going to go back to Blackthorn for a second. I'm going to forget Surf now, just in case we were going to level up to 48 in the final part of Radio Tower. I would much rather be cautious there. Because we do have a few trainers we need to do. There's a very distinct... There's the Kaboom. The Earth-shattering Kaboom. There's a very distinct chance that we could have got... Earthquake off the top trainer at the Tiki Top. As it turns out, we probably weren't going to get it, but better to be safe than sorry. We'll probably get it off the first or second gym trader. Trader? Trainer in Claire's gym. I really wish Megahorn was a drinky move as well. Get the pink boat off Marie in case we need it. Now nah, we won't need Sunny Day this time. Clodsire is the MVP of Gen 9. I love Clod Clodsire. Clodsire. Let's TP back to Blackthorn now. It's not Blackthorn, but it's got a Pokemon Center. It will do. Nice one shots here on the on the Dratini line. That is Paul defeated. Let's move on to our next gym trainer. Hopefully we'll get ourselves level 48 off this. And we learn Earthquake. Fantastic. Do we have any PP ups in the bag at the moment? No, we don't. That's absolutely fine. So now we have two very powerful moves on the learn set.
Those being Sludge Wave and Earthquake. It is time for Clodside to shake things up. You're not wrong there, Seth. Move these hyper potions up, and I'm going to toss these super potions. This is one of those Pokemon where I think hyper potion is the way to go. Well, let's see how we go on with Claire, shall we? We're slower than the Dragonair. Not wholly unexpected. I risked it there, and I probably shouldn't have done. Just trying to stop her getting into a healing loop. There we go, we're through this battle now. And in just a moment or two, we'll be able to get the badge. Hello, fish. Our big issue here is our speed stat. By a long way. A rising badge in one eighteen twenty. Got the final max elixir around here. sell some stuff that we don't need. And we can't take any more proteins. We can't take any more irons. Get three of you. Two of you. And we can only afford one more of you. More vitamins. Completely agree there. I can't think of a poison type I prefer more. And with that, we will stick on a match repel up to the top of the bag. Fly back to Newbark. And we can make our way to the league. Muck is adorable. Muck is a cute poison type. I like it. I like Garboda as well. I've just got a real soft spot for a lot of poison types.
And I'm thinking that will probably won't be an issue. By virtue of us having such great special defense. I think the most likely thing to happen at will is Jinx is going to give us a little smooch. We'll fall asleep. We can rejoice we did not get Cool Trainer Joyce today. First time for everything. Goodness for Sludge Wave on the Parasect there. Why would you use Agility? We are significantly slower. I've not done Cramorant, no. Welcome in, Slippy. ourselves an extra earthquake just in case we'll do the final rival battle to be fair clod speed is me on any day exactly as slippy said Cramorant is proving to be a little bit problematic because of its ability. We will now at this point say thank you to Kenya, to Abra, and to Psyduck. It's Merci to Paris, and it's a big thank you to all you lovely HM friends with the green names in the chat. Let's take a look at our stats going into the league. We are level 53 with 253 HP. We're holding the Quick Claw with Earthquake, Megahorn, Amnesia, which may change, and Sludge Wave. 124 in attack, 107 in defense, just 91 in special attack, 149 in special defense, and a paltry 64 in speed. There are the stats going into the league. Will we be able to make it out the other side? Let's find out. We'll start off with Will. It wasn't a particularly clean will fight, but we get through in a 125-24. Up next is Koga. He's a poison type specialist just like us. And he's going to lead with Ariados. Look at our special defense. We're barely getting tickled. This is going to be a bit of a war of attrition, though. A 
back onto Earthquake for the Muck. And we are through Koga. Not a rare candy. We want an elixir. And where are my full restores? There they are. Let's take them up to tippy top. Up next, Bruno. Nice choice with Earthquake there. Oh, his punch did a whole 15 HP of damage. Double kick did very slightly better. And we do that to prevent Bruno doing a healing loop on us. We use that last elixir for Karen. Now, Karen does love her status moves, so this could be a little bit pesky, but we'll have to find out. Oh, we can quick claw proc the Umbreon. Fantastic. Although we could still get paralyzed here. Nope, she misses. Go to Sludge Wave for the Murkrow. We can Earthquake the Houndoom. Gengar's last. It licks us. It doesn't paralyze us. We knock it out in one. Karen was remarkably easy. Actually, there's no point in ethering Earthquake. We can't use it in this battle. That was a very clean one. God, Lance could be a bit pesky here with all those hyper beams hitting. Yeah. We really need something to bolster our physical defense here. I'm going to stick Return over Earthquake because we have the Earthquake TM. Gonna do an amnesia there. That makes him do hyper beam after one right. It's our lack of speed that's really holding us back here. We've just gotta get lucky, I think. That's not getting lucky, that's getting incredibly un unlucky. Hyperbeam is 90% accurate, yes. It's the first time we've managed to poison off Fudge Wave.
Icy Wind would be absolutely terrible here. Our special attack is so low that it wouldn't matter. Yeah, this, I think, is hopeless. So I'm going to pause the timer and go back to the beginning of the league. I'm going to need a couple of moments thinking time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the break now. We'll do Lance and we'll just do straight through to the end of Red. So I will be back in a moment. And we are back in front of the league once more. We're going to take the L on the league. We're going to get a couple more levels. Try again, maybe at like 55, 56. I'm pausing the timer. We will undo our league splits because we didn't get through the league. Let's see who the hell we can take on. Oh, we need some HM friends, don't we? Come back here. Kenya, Avra, side of Paris. I need you early. We weren't quite good enough for the league. Yeah, Curse really would help, but unfortunately... We do not have Curse. We're going to have to even take the walk of shame through Victory Road. YouTube Premium is absolutely glorious. I say that both from a content creator's point of view and a viewer's point of view. Not having to worry about adverts is fantastic. Going to get some items that we never normally see as well. 
But I'm not sticking a repel on for this because we need all the experience we can get. Oh, there's a random full restore there. Didn't know that. Sometimes it happens where you can just get walled at last. Have a lovely day. Thank you for popping in, Dragon Princess. As a creator, I have very few issues with YouTube going after adblock. I will be perfectly honest there. No, I don't think the 25% miss is for attacking moves. It's literally just for the pure status moves. Joyce, we need you after all. I'm not sure if Snowy's still in to give full confirmation on that, but that is as far as I'm aware. I thought that turned out to be an issue with Chrome as opposed to being an issue in general. Thank you, Snowy. Snowy is an absolute genius. See, I'm a Firefox user, so I'm not on the Chromium engine, thank goodness. We did not get the sub one hour. We didn't get the sub one anything, really. Edge, you know, people slag it off, but it's a perfectly cromulent browser. I've used Firefox for many, many moons as well. Never had any issues with it myself. I always forget that Gligar's flying. It doesn't look like it should be flying. Hello, Don Fan. We've not seen one of you in ages. The one thing we can do is grab the extra PP up and stick that in Earthquake. It's a mystery berry there as well. Any more people to beat up? No. We'll do the trainer's near mahogany and then we'll give it another go. Hopefully the extra few levels will give us at least a little bit more bulk. I have noticed, Oddich, there's been quite a big delay with a lot of people in chat recently. The same with my chat coming through in OBS, that seems to be lagging as well. In fact, you have just remound me to do a cheeky little refresh there. And welcome in, Rayeth. How are you today? 
Clodsai is my boyo as well, but goodness me, he struggled at Lance. So we had to take the L at the league, and we're going to try and get a few more levels. So warm welcome back to some more Goldeen. Alright, so we'll do Bird Keeper Vance, and then we'll go back towards Kanto, shall we? Sounds like a plan to me. Hopefully this time, the extra levels will do us a world of good. Watch the League give us so much trouble now, at the higher level. That's what Saturdays are for, sleepy Saturdays. Right, so for the second time, let's take a look at our stats going into the league. Actually, let's not, because we've not deposited the HM friends, and also there is one more thing that I want to do. Just as a backup of the backup of the backup. Four else fails will scam with the uh, headbutt. Just keep throwing the dice until we get the flinches in the right place. And now we will deposit the HM friends and give it another go. So for the umpteenth time, it is thank you to Kenya, to Abra, to Psyduck, and to Paris. If I can get Paris in the box, there we go. We're going to save in front of the league, we'll take a look at our stats, and we'll see if we can do any better this time. Level 56 now with 250 HP. We're holding a quick claw with Sludge Wave, Megahorn, Amnesia, and Earthquake. 132 in attack, 114 in defense, up to 96 in special attack, 158 in special defense, and 69 nice in speed. The ham friends are deposited away. Let's see how we get on, shall we? Quick claw proc there on the Zartu knocks it out in one. Psychic deals a bit of damage from the Jinx. Slowbro says hello. We knock it out in two. Next, Zartu hits us with a Psychic. We'll finish off with this pesky Executor. Will has been done yet again. Let's get a split for him. Goodness, 2156. Koga, do your worst. Ariados goes. Venomoth's next. We're confused. But we knock it out in two. I am planning on backboarding Cleavor, yes. Muck is defeated as well. We are through Koga. Full restore. We'll probably have to Elixir here as well. Time for round two with Bruno. Same strat as before, making sure that Machamp doesn't get a healing loop. Karen, please be as nice as you were last time. Paralysis is fine. So we've only got one more Pokemon left to go.
Woodshots in the Umbreon is nice. I will I will agree there. Full restore, we'll use our elixir. Take two at last. Let's see how we get on this time. It's yet more Hyper Beam time. You're not wrong there. Twice in a row the wrong things happened there. At least we're getting to see the other Pokemon. Might not be able to do anything with them. Outrageous. We're just going to have to hope for Quick Claw procs here. We're frozen. Thing is, if we amnesia too much, then he goes for the physical moves. And Hyper Beam, even though it's not the strongest move in the world, it can really chip us down. See, we're under half HP after two Pokemon. And we're getting the Quick Claw procs in all the wrong places. Handy crits. We might even need to try and find some more levels out of somewhere. Of course you hyper beam. Quick Claw, please proc, for God's sakes. He's not missing. A Hyper Beam miss. And a quick claw proc. Twister's absolutely fine. You stick with Twister, mate. Nope. Hyper Beam, of course. A crit. Of course, you flaming crit. The one time we were getting there. We had a chance and he crit. Wrong move, Squidge.
Twister is what we're hoping to see. I will take the flinch chance. He's going to hyperbeam now, isn't he? Nice crit. Right, 64 HP for this Dragonite. He's hyper... Oh, for God's sake. Oh. This is not a fun run so far, I've got to be honest. It did start, well, it started okay, then we improved, and now we're just at a wall. Thank God Hyper Beam missed, it's probably not going to affect anything. We're getting the bad rolls. Leaving the league there. Gonna have to get a couple more levels. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I was actually told by people who've done this that this is an easy run. Kind of feeling like Lance is the exception to this. Well, I'd get the poison barb, but we need the quick claw. Otherwise, we're just going to take too much damage. With our special attack being so low, ice moves wouldn't be the play. If we had a decent special attack, then we could look at ice moves, but... We A, don't have Icy Wind anymore because I sold it. We B, cannot get Ice Beam until after the league. I very much doubt it would be a one hit on the Dragonite. We'll try again at 58, hopefully. It's been a while since we've had one of these runs where Lance has been this much of an issue. It's happened many times before, though. We've just got very lucky with Pokemon in recent times. Lance is very much a trainer as well, where your special attack is what comes in handy. <laughs> Thank heavens for small mercies there, Snowy. Not being paralysed by Thunder Wave is absolutely a big boon. Even the Quick Claws has been half decent RNG. And Lance really is the last proper special attacker we're going to have issues with, I reckon. And that's mostly because he's got Hyper Beam, which is physical on his learn set. And Hyper Beam does a lot of damage.
the best thing to do if you want to throw the runs yourself is to get yourself in the Discord. We do have patches available for most of the backports. Yeah, the Kanto section should be easy. I am going to take another stretch break after the league now. Just because this has taken so long. I won't play adverts. It's just going to be a couple of moments stretch, grab another drink, and reframe myself after the hell at last. I'm going all the way up to 59. Secondary for Sludge Wave is in, I believe. This one was not made by me. So I'm not 100% sure. It's not even like we have rollouts to help us out. I would curl out, curl out if I thought it would help. We don't even get defense curl from what I see on there. Otherwise, I'd go to uh, Mount Mortar, replace Amnesia with defense curl. Just roll our way through the league. I swear, if this Pokemon wasn't as cute. Thank you for the Discord link, Sombrero Fero. One more Pokemon to go. I just released the IPS patch. Everything else you will unfortunately have to get yourself. Do we still have the HM friends with us? Yes, we do. So thank you once again to Kenya, Abra, Psyduck, Paris, and to you lovely green names in the chat. Level 59, let's try this for a third time. They say third time's the charm. Let's undo all those splits. I'm not even going to look at our stats. We're just going to get on with it. And KWCamp44, thank you for subscribing to the channel. They do say the bad things come in threes. I hope I can beat the lie with the flyers. Will, 38-13, goodness me. Getting the cargo vibes all over again. Unfortunately, I don't want Nintendo coming down hard on my bum, so I do not release anything other than the patch. Well done, you hit the Venomoth. Aren't we proud? Just hit it once more, please. Once more. There we go. Muck. We've got Earthquake for Muck. We know that Muck's fine. Go away, Koga. Goodbye. Up next, Bruno for the third time. Hit him on top. We Earthquake. He goes down either way because he digs. Hit him on Chan, we Earthquake, he goes down because he's crap. Hit him on Lee, jump kicks us in the face, does a whole... I, I'm not even counting at the moment. Is that 18 HP of damage? We range them a champ, of course we range them a champ. Bruno is defeated. Hyper Potion and... Elixir. 
Aaron, you've played ball the last two times. Please don't be a bitch this time. Megahorn Umbreon, perfect. Megahorn Vileplume, not so perfect. Vileplume plays ball. I'm getting fatigued already. I tried Radical Red many, many months ago. We've been bloody burnt. Christ's sake. Doesn't matter. Let's do a cheeky little heal here with a full restore. Lance, I'm back. I'm level 61 and I'm hoping for the best. Still isn't going to be a one-shot on this bloody Gyarados, is it? I don't want to have to do the grind again. Why? Why wiper beam? Wiper beam? Wiper beam? Wiper beam? Yes, you missed. Thank God. Do it again. Quick law. Yes, we're getting somewhere. One shot for the love of God, please. We've got 84 HP to get through this pesky Dragonite. We quick lord, he safeguards, hyper beam hits, 19 HP, we are through, Lance. Thank goodness for that. Ah. Oh. Let's pause the timer at hats, 2 hours and 41 seconds. I'm going to take a quick break. No, I'm not going to press the advert button. I just need a quick stretch after that. I'll be back in a moment or two.
and we are back. Thank you so much for your patience there. Needed a little break to reframe myself after that. We're going to unpause the timer. We're going to get on the bike and we're going to do the Kanto section. First thing we'll do is grab the SS ticket. We'll then retrieve the HM friends from Cherry Grove because unfortunately New Bark Town is not on the internet. And thank you so much, Athos Milanese, or is that Athos Milanese? I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Thank you so much for joining the HM friends. And thank you for the words of good luck against the liar. We absolutely needed those. Let us now go and grab our rare candies. Take a deep breath. The worst part of this run is hopefully over. Touch. A load to call this desk word MDF at best. I've got the hiccups now. A rare candy acquired. We'll dig our way out of there. Fly over to Olivine City, dip in the PMC. Very, very much struggled during Lance. He just wall does. Have a lovely time at the TCG tournament, Rhea. Thank you for popping in. I hope to see you again very, very soon. I'll tell you one thing. Looking at the membership icon at the tippy top there, it's such a scam that if you gift a membership, I don't think it shows up there. That's that's mean. That league was absolutely horrific, wasn't it, at the end? It just shows for a redo we'll have to do full trainers. When we inevitably do our backport redos at some point. Executor's redo is the redo next week, by the way, so if you like Executor, please do tune in for that. We'll be doing an Alola Executor backport to celebrate our Executor redo. And I'm sure we'll have another couple of bits as well. Well, thank you so much, Rayeth, for gifting a membership. You really didn't have to. But what a scam. What a scam that it's not showing up there. Can we all write an angry message to YouTube going... It gifted membership should be up at the tippy top as well. It's only fair. And congratulations, Silver Lane Marie, for your gifted membership. If you are in the chat, please do make sure to thank the lovely Raya. Thank you for the like on chops. How are you today? I hope you've had a fantastic start to your day. I mean, that's just a scam, isn't it? You're spending the same amount of money and YouTube isn't giving you the correct thanks. Thunder badge acquired. We'll dip our head in the PMC there for the teleport spot. Now, Clod Sire, I know you're sweet and innocent looking, but we are going to be teaching you how to swear a little bit later on, potentially. So... I'll tell you, you'd better start reading dirty words. I've used stairs before. You're pretty dandy. Always nice to see that somebody is dandy. Let's get rid of the full heal at this point. Get rid of the mystic water. Just do a little bit of littering. Get the PP up. We'll also get the lefties. Her pork chops is conflicting with your name just a little bit there, oink chops. Goodness me, Clotzai is going to say the, the S word, the stupid word. Did I? Thinking about it. Did I get the rare candy from here? No, we didn't. Not quite the first thing we do in Kanto is not quite the last thing we do in Johto. We're getting a rare candy this time from the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. All out of sequence. This is what we call a hot mess of a run. I was told that the word brat was a was a uh, 
curse word when I was younger. Talking of executor, there's one on screen now. Where's that PP up? We'll do that one in Earthquake. There we go. Erica all defeated. Up next is going to be Janine. Hopefully smooth sailing. I am not counting any chickens now. Bloody and bleeding are like mild curse words, aren't they? Like I get I get away with saying bloody and bleeding on this channel. There are a lot of words that I won't say, intentionally anyway. It is doing worse than Macargo. If only I had the updated Macargo splits preloaded in. Yeah, that 20 in speed really is what's screwing us over a lot of a lot of the time on this run. Cause even if we had 30 in speed, we'd have outsped so, so many more Pokemon. We'll do a PP heal in here. Grab ourselves the... Uh, well, we won't grab anything this time, but we'll get Zap Cannon next time. We're in here. Off to Saffron. Where Sabrina is waiting for us. This is post game, yes. Nice quick claw proc there. She was probably going to bat and pass to the Alakazam. There we go. Bye bye, a go go, Mr. Rocket Man. We will do a little cycle past you. And now we've got the third and final 
technical slog of the game. Good old Nugget Bridge. If these Pokémon were a slightly higher level, I'd be much more inclined to enjoy this. Because it would give you some very, very handy experience. And for those of you interested, we're actually about two-thirds of our way through our stat experience at the moment for attack and defense. 45,500 for attack. And 43,500 for defense. Oh, for goodness sakes. Bad RNG from start to finish of this run. Where's that full restore? It is a little bit underwhelming in Kanto, but I'm glad it's there. Sludge Wave is a one shot on Golduck. Earthquake is a one shot on Quagsire. It's going to be a range, probably. Oh, we just about knocked out the Lapras. Starmie hit tickles us with a Sir. We knock it out, and we're through Misty. Cascade Badge in 212.55. Get the machine part. And we'll teleport back to the power plant. Going to be tight on the old repels, you know, looking at that. See about seven of course is Zap Cannon, we cannot learn it, but I do love that move. Off to its lavender town. So we can expand our radio. Then it's back to Vermilion. We'll do three drill now, actually. Moving Earthquake up to the tippy top for the next gym. I think Dave from Accounting is doing that. I will catch up with him after stream. Because that rogue zap cannon really could have done a lot of damage to him. That's Brock defeated. Two more badges and the red fight left to go. can all settle down for the day, have some dinner, and just relax. We'll take a cheeky little heel here in Viridian. It's going to be quicker than faffing about in the bag.
That rat can't get quiet. Of course we get RNG spinner. Says it all on this run, doesn't it? Hello, Macargo. You're you're possibly better than Claude, sire. Blaine done. Volcano badge in hand. Blue, please don't be a terror. That crate, crate would have been nice before. Nice quick little proc there on the Alakazam, growing up to a nice level as well. So our friend the Gyarados back out again. Hyper Beam misses this time though. Earthquake should hopefully do a lot of damage on the ride on. Same against the Arcanine, that will just leave. Executor left to go. We have Sludge Wave for the Executor. One shot there. Blue is defeated. Earth Badge acquired. Now we're going to cycle here and we're going to take on Gem. Gem because he's got Jinx Selective as a Magmar. But that should get us up to level 70 for red. So we can now just fly over to Palette Town. Chat with Oak. And we'll see how we get on. I won't use Curse until we've used all 10 rare candies. I want to see if we can do it beforehand. Actually, let's just teleport. I want to see if we can do it without Curse. Because Curse feels a little bit cheap to me. I used to use it prolifically in the early days, but now I don't particularly enjoy using it. Alright, Silver Cave, here we are. Should hopefully have just one more rare candy to pick up. Don't know why I'm healing there. Already done that. Yep, 10 rare candies in the bag. That's what we like to see. Gonna go into Silver Cave now. Not necessarily an easy setup on the Pikachu. We are going to have to do the Charm Dodge, of course. We'll do that and that. So the rare candies are up the tippy top. We'll drop a hard save here. We'll dig in and hope for the best. Such is the way of this run. Lance was a terror. And now we're doing the very, very fun thing of dodging the charm. So we know Pikachu's a one-shot. And we know Psychic deals a lot of damage there. Nice double quick claw prop. We are through both of those. Snorlax is next. Snorlax could be problematic. No paralysis is good. Right, Blastoise is next. Interesting. I'm going to try setting up an amnesia. Shouldn't have done that, Amnesia, really. Right, we're going to use three rare candies. We probably won't need any more than this, to be fair. No pressure, then, Oink Chops. 
Welcome in, Prince Tamarot. Prince Tamarot? Prince Thomas, also, I don't beg your pardon. How are you today? Thank you for saying it's an interesting stream idea. Oh, that psychic hurts. I think we're just going to have to quick claw proc and charm dodge. I didn't mean to mega horn there. Let me rejig some moves around. Let's move those two there. I always keep stasis moves in slot number three. It's a 25% chance for Charm to fail, and then he'll probably go for a quick attack. Just gonna get lucky. And luck has not been on our side this entire run. There's a quick attack. Is he gonna ch Charm turn two? No. Nope. We will take double quick attack. Now, if we can get a quick claw proc, that would be perfect. We do, so we are through the Pescion. Up next is the Snorlax. I'm gonna Sludge Wave on turn one. Kinda hoping for a poison there that didn't happen. Body slam, please don't paralyze. Perfect. Right, so our special defense is currently 420. Gonna sludge wave again as he rain dances. Tough range there. 5 HP, probably not gonna be enough. Giga Drain knocks us out. I'm gonna use another three. That's very kind of you to say, Prince Thomas. We really are rooting for the... Oh, Sire here. It's been a very, very long run. We're gonna try a double amnesia actually on the Pikachu. Charm missed, that's good. We just gotta dodge one more charm. Three quick attacks is absolutely fine. The damage we'll take from the uh surf is far less than that. But if he crits, of course we get knocked out. I'm using all four rec candies. Oh, what a run, eh? What a run. Triple amnesia time. We've got 310 HP left to go. Reflect is no good. Once again, we're going to be throwing the dice here. Charm, absolutely not. Podsire is interesting. GG, thank you so much for the super chats. It's come up on my screen, it's not come up on my chat. Thank you for the 499 for luck. That is very kind of you. Hopefully your luck super chat will be exactly what we need. We need all the help we can get at this point. Honestly, Megahorn, please. Quick Claw, just do your thing. It's one Pokemon we need to Quick Claw. That's it. Not the Pikachu. The Pikachu's irrelevant. The Pikachu's going to charm us either way, turn one. It is a beautiful chocolate hippo. Your family is not wrong there. One. Two. Three Amnesia. Earthquake. Pikachu, get yourself in the bin. Yes, we've hit the Espeon. We, we have a chance. Not a good chance, but we have a chance. This should now be guaranteed two shots, so we're not taking damage off the Snorlax. That is huge. This is also now a two shot, so we can afford to take the damage from Surf. We're still at 243 HP as the Venusaur comes out. Venusaur's going to be a two-shot either way as he uses Sunny Day. That's perfectly fine by me. So the Beam crits, though, and takes us down to 64. And now we are in danger for the Snorlax. We're going to use a Sludge Wave. If we Quick Claw proc here, we win. But we don't, for God's sake. Back to square one. Goodness me. We've quick claw propped again. We're in with a second chance straight after. Will 39 be the lucky number today? Body slam paralyzes us. No, it won't. Let's try again. Even Red's taking pity and not charming us turn one some of the time. Watch as he charms now. Also crit and I miscounted. No abilities in Generation 2. No abilities in Generation 2. 
The horn is somewhere. We don't know where. The name is Kimura because one of my very good streamer friends, Kimura, cannot stand Claude Sire. It's one of his least favourite Pokemon, so we're naming it in honour. There's a charm. Thank you, Pikachu. <laughs> Gotta get back on the charm dodge. We've got so much RNG that needs to happen with the first two Pokemon. Honestly, at this point, I'm starting to get on Kimura's side with Claude Sire. I love it, but it's not been good. Fingers crossed for a quick claw proc here. I will take that piddly bit of psychic damage. Now, Snorlax, please, please do not use Body Slam. Or just ignore me completely, Snorlax. It's good, but it's very much a support mon. No damage off the Blastoise. We're on to the Venusaur. Quick claw proc there. Hopefully we get a second one, which we don't. But we have 174 HP now to play with with the Charizard. We're going to Sludge Wave. Even a critical hit wing attack won't knock us out now. And we are through red in 2 hours, 27 minutes and 2 seconds. Oh. We still beat McCargo. Let's get that on the leaderboard, shall we? 227.02. I just need to run the leaderboard strict. And I can breathe at long last. Let's go. Oh. Now, while we're waiting for the leaderboard to generate, we will have some more runs. 2 p.m. United Kingdom time on Monday. I'm going to be doing Tuesday with the Executor Redo and Thursday next week. Not Friday because it's Easter weekend here in the uh, United Kingdom next weekend. So I'm probably going to be doing Thursday. If you do want to keep up to date with when the streams are happening, we do have, of course, our Discord, which I'm sure a lovely mod will put a link into the chat. And we do also have the schedule going up on YouTube every so often. So if you do want to see it, you can always click subscribe. No pressure, though. Do what you want to do. I will never force anyone to subscribe. Let us now have a look at the leaderboard. That is all generated up. What page do we think we are on? Probably page two. We're on page two, and we are just ahead of Delibird, for God's sake, and just behind Dunsparce in that huge, huge gap there. 47th place, four streams only. Let's take a look. Fuck! I nearly swore there. Bloody hell, GG. 49.99 Super Chat. Let me try and get the alerts up. Thank you so much, GG. That is so goddamn kind. I'm going to cry. But, Lambo Shroom, thank you for subscribing. Apologies if that was a full swear. It hopefully was just the first syllable of a swear. That is so kind of you. Thank you so, so much. Is there a Pokemon you would like me to backport, GG? Because I will absolutely try my best to get a Pokemon in. That is so goddamn kind of you. Thank you so much. In the meantime, let's, let's take a look at the full leaderboard, see where we are. Probably page five. I can't see any different for that. Yep, we are on page five. Let's get page five loaded up. In 132nd place, just behind Executor, who's getting his redo on Tuesday, we have the wonderful Claude Sire there, just ahead of Delibird. And if you are new to the channel, those little symbols you can see in the top left-hand corner of some of those Pokemon, you can see them on Macargo, that indicates a redo. So any blank without that symbol are the first try, any with that symbol of the redo. While we're here, we might as well take a look at the full leaderboard. On page three, on page four, I beg your pardon, we're starting off with Electabuzz's original run, going down to Raichu's original run as well. On page three, we do have Raikou in 51st place, Jinx down there in 90th place. GG, if you're not in the Discord, please do feel free to join, or next time you're in, whatever it is, we will try and get a backport done for you. That is page three. Luxray. Luxray, that is the Pokemon, isn't it? We can definitely try the Luxray line. Two more pages left to go. On page two, we do have uh, Aerodactyl in top spot. And in 50th spot, we have Snorlax. 
We will add an icon for ability soon. I've just got to, got to add another category. I'll need to chat with Kangastan with that. On page two, we start off with Aerodactyl going down to Snorlax. And on page one, last but not least, Zangus still in tippy-top spot. In second place, we do have the lovely Giraffe Egg on its redo. Flamigo in page on number three, Ursaring down to Slacking. Now, of course, we are doing a stream. There is one last thing we need to do. We need to get through these end credits first and foremost. Forgot about that part. But we are no Pokemon thieves here on this channel. We always give Pokemon back that need returning. And that means we're going to go to Violet City. We're going to pop in to the Pokemon Center. We will use my PC here. Onto the mailbox we go. We will attach the mail to Kenya. And Kenya, thank you so much for all your help over the last two and a half hours. But you've got to go home now. There we go. Kenya is fully returned. Thank you for the nightmare to you, Mr. Man. We have not done Lilligant yet, but we have a very good idea for doing two in one stream again, because it has a Hisuian variant. And with that, we could save, and we are done. So, I've got so many people to thank this stream. Thank you, Master K, for joining at Pokeball. Alex Crossley for joining at Pokeball. Ath 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 Athos Milanese, goodness me, I can't speak, for joining at Pokeball. Rayeth for the gifted membership. GG for the $4.99 for good luck and the $49.99 for uh, great work. That is so, so kind of you. That was a very intense run. I'm going to have a long lie down now. But until next time, I will say thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all on Monday. Have a lovely Sunday, everybody. I'll see you in a couple of days' time. And Snowy, just before I leave, thank you for the 11 months at Great Ball. That means an awful lot. Ah, to you too. Until next time, we're definitely going now. I need to lie down. I need a drink. Not of anything naughty, though. I'll see you all on Monday.